Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to do another Forzathon guide uh, and this week's Forzathon wants you to use a very special car which is the M125 Warthog CST of which we all know comes from the Halo games. Now if you do not own one do not worry uh, you can pick one up in the auto show um, for about 850,000 credits um, but if you don't have that sort of money you can go over to the auction house and you may be able to find one for less than that now obviously some people are putting them up for ridiculous prices uh, i'm not quite sure why you would buy one of them when you can just go and pick one up for 850 grand um, but there are always ones that are cheaper than that so you may be able to snatch one uh, and get one last minute for under 850 now i've created a tune for this warthog uh, as you will need it for the final challenge uh so it's called Forzathon uh, and it's got the V12 swap because the first normal engine uh, will not complete the third challenge even when it's tuned and I will explain all later. Uh, so if you want to download this tune uh, it will help you. If not I recommend definitely tuning it yourself and you will have to swap the engine. Now the first challenge wants you to earn five wrecking ball skills um, which a wrecking ball skill combo is basically where you get multiple wrecking wreckage skills uh, in quick succession. So it's fairly easy. Uh, it may take you a little longer than others um, but it's still going to be a fairly easy and quick first challenge. Now, what I'd recommend doing is heading over to the Glendale Airfield. Um, now, the reason for this is because there is a ton of stuff to smash into, uh, whether it's tires or cones or fences, shrubbery, whatever it is. As long as you get those wreckage skills, you will see the wrecking ball skill pop up there uh, if you just continually hit stuff. Uh, like I said, you want to get a minimum of about three wreckage skills in quick succession. Um, I definitely recommend getting the uh, second life perk as well in case you hit something that's not smashable um, and then obviously you lose your sort of wreckage skills uh, and you won't get the combo but it's actually a fairly easy challenge and like I said there's a ton of stuff to smash around the airstrip. Now the next challenge wants you to win three cross country series events. Now this can be any cross country race you want but I recommend heading over to the Ambleside Rush cross country race. Now the reason for this is because I've created one just for you guys to use um, which will save you a lot of time. So if you go over to custom events uh, you can type in the share code for this race which is 6223882. 275. Now this race is one of my usual ones where I send the AI driver tars just off into their own little world so they can smash into a brick wall uh, which is especially useful for the Warthog because it's not the quickest car um, even with a tuned engine it will still only max out about 145 um, so this will definitely help you out if you need it uh, and the best thing is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want at the end of the day it doesn't matter it's just a Forzathon event uh, and rinse and repeat that three times and you'll have completed it. Now the last challenge wants you to earn three stars at the Slate Quarry Speed Trap. Now like I said with the original engine this will not work because you will not get over the target speed of 135 uh, 30 mile an hour. Now I also recommend starting sort of to the south of the actual speed trap itself. Uh, the reason being is you can get a better high speed from that angle uh, as it's less bumpy, there's less turns involved. Uh, so if you take a shortcut to the left of those trees there, it will set you up quite nicely for the straight just after this bend uh, and you'll definitely get over 130 mile an hour to get those three stars. Uh, I will show you a second time here as well. Now like I said, if you want to use my tune, it's just called Forzathon and you can find it on my storefront or if you want to create your own, that's perfectly fine. But like I said, I definitely recommend doing the V12 engine swap because the original engine will not hit uh, above basically I think it's about 120 mile an hour when it's tuned um, So you will need the engine swap there, but it's actually a nice and easy final challenge to finish the force done off off with um, You know, it's very quick. It will literally take you about 15 seconds from the start sort of thing um, so it's a nice and easy falls on this week uh, if you are struggling with any of the challenges though please do say so down below in the comments uh, and I will try my best to help you out as I always try to uh, but apart from that guys I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you out if you are new to the channel and you did enjoy this please don't forget to subscribe and drop a like as well I would be very very grateful but apart from that guys all the best thank you very much and take care